today I'm going to be sharing with you a yard sale haul. Um, some of these items you will have seen in the last yard sale footage video. There are a couple items that I am mixing in of stuff that I have purchased um, in the past but I'm just getting around to listing them. There's also some items that I did purchase within the last yard sale footage video that are not going to be technically in this haul because I don't have them listed. I did buy that really large ceramic tree clock. I also purchased the, um, doo -doo 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 -doo, the camper light lamp. Um, I do want to get a bulb for that lamp. I don't have a bulb in it right now. Uh, just to make sure that it works properly before I get that listed up. Um, so you will see those items eventually in a yard sale haul video after I have tested them out, make sure they work, and that kind of thing, and get them listed. So we're just going to get into everything that I wanted to share with you in this video. This next item I actually purchased at Goodwill a while back. It's this black brocade um, vest. This is really awesome looking, very gothic. It's by a company called Shrine uh, Hollywood, California is the tag in there. Uh, this brand is very expensive. Like, I think it's um, really popular amongst, you know, rock stars and stuff like that. Um, I listed this up as a buy it now for $79.99. It does have a lot of watchers already, so I'm hoping that it goes. I listed it slightly cheaper because there is a tear down here. Um, in the fabric, which it's such a straight cut that it could easily be mended, but you know, it also has that distressed rocker kind of look to it. So we'll see um, how long it takes for that to sell. Um, I got this Bath and Body Works fragrance mist in coconut mango. So this has been used, you can see. It's not filled to the tippy top, but this is a scent that is no longer made. Um, I paid I believe $1 for this. No, I paid $2 for this. And I listed it up as a buy it now for $29.99. So discontinued fragrances. Oh gosh, that smells so good too. Very summery. Um, can do really, really well. This is not a discontinued fragrance. This is a men's Sean John um, cologne. It's called Unforgivable. It does have the box. This belongs to my father. I'm pretty sure I got this for him at a yard sale. It has been used just a couple of times. It's not filled to the tippy tippy top, but super close there. Um, I think I paid $5 for it at the time. I don't remember if he was with me or not. I feel like he wasn't. And I knew what kind of fragrances my dad was drawn to. Like I could just smell a cologne and I would know right away if that was something that he would wear. And when I smelled this one, I was like, it smells good, but this isn't my father. But I bought it anyway because I liked spoiling him. I liked buying him stuff and he was obsessed with fragrances just like I am. So I decided to get it for him anyway and he, he really didn't use it. <laughs> so, I mean, it doesn't upset me. Obviously, like I knew when I, when I, um, purchased it that he wasn't really going to like it. Uh, but I put this up as a buy it now for $19.99. It's so upsetting. Today is, what is today? August 2nd. Um, his birthday would have been coming up on the 9th. And instead of celebrating another birthday at the end of the month, his death anniversary of one year, I can't believe it's going to be one year since he's been gone already. Like, I just feel like I can still just, like, call him up and talk to him. Like, it, that's just, like, what... One of the things that gets me through dealing with the loss of my parents and stuff is just trying to pretend that, like, they're still at home and I can just, like, call them anytime I want to or I, like, try to imagine them, like, on a vacation or something like that. Um, but... I try not to think about it too much. 
Um, some days still are better than others, and then some days I have like really bad days. Um, so I'm not even gonna like start talking about that because I'm already like wanting to cry. So let's just get on with the, the haul. Um, I got this vintage Disney Hercules action figure. This is called Lightning Bolt Zeus. It is from 1997. I liked the fact that it was still in its original packaging. Um, I think I paid 50 cents for this and I listed it up as a buy it now for $19.99. At one sale where I purchased the Hercules toy, um, there were, ooh, that was a cha-ching. Um, there were two pairs of shoes I was like kind of looking at. They weren't my size um, and I didn't really know what I could sell them for. So I was only like slightly interested. I think she had $5 on the shoes, but she saw me looking at them and she said I could have them for a dollar a piece. So I was like, okay, well for a dollar, I'll take a chance. So the first pair are these Vans canvas sneakers. They have a really pretty, and I don't know if you'll be able to see this, like floral kind of print on the inside. Um, they are a women's size eight. They were worn maybe like once or twice. The soles still really look clean. Um, so I paid a dollar for these and I listed them up as a buy it now for $25.99. Same with these Converse. She had $5 on them but um, sold them to me for a dollar. And again, these are a women's size eight. They're like a mint green. They're called the Shoreline. That's the name of the style. But again, they're in really nice condition. So I paid a dollar for these and I listed these up as a buy it now for $29.99. I got this top and I paid, oh, I think I paid $4 for this top. Um, I had never heard of the brand before. It's called Bell Kim Gravel is on the tag here. The yard sale that I got it from, the lady had a lot of like QVC brand clothes. So I'm assuming this might be like a QVC brand. Um, I got it for myself. So I was like, I didn't mind spending $4 for it because if I was just gonna keep it for myself, then I have a really cute top. So it's just this really pretty floral mint green top and it has these um, nice little flowy bell sleeves. I did try it on and I like how it looks on me. So I'm going to be keeping that. So that was a $4 well spent. I sold one of these already, but I still had another one uh, to sell. So this is a vintage um, spaghetti trim lady. And she comes with two little spaghetti trim poodle dogs. That look like this. So this, the dogs have like an area on their back where a chain would have gone through and then the chain would have kind of slipped over her hand. So it would look like she's walking the dogs. The other one that I sold still had the chain attached to the dogs. Um, this one is missing the chain. So, um, but she's still super cute. Um, I listed her as a buy it now for $19.99. I got this vintage angel Christmas planter. I fell in love with this. I just love the overall look of this girl. She is so stinking cute. I paid just 50 cents for it. There were two breaks on her wings, um, which I did see, but for 50 cents, I could not let this sit. So if it doesn't sell, I might just keep it, um, but there were two repairs on her wing back here. Um, so 50 cents for this, and I listed it up on auction with a starting price of $19.99. So we'll see if she doesn't sell, I'll probably relist her at that and then see if she goes. And if not, closer to Christmas, if she's still hanging on, I might just end the auction and keep her. This item was a bad buy. Bad buy, Michelle. I paid 50 cents for it. It's a really cute, and I don't t typically pick up decorative plates, but there are some that I'm just so drawn to, and I just thought this was the cutest thing ever. It's of a little sheepy, and it's got these crazy long, like, <laughs> stick legs. I just thought it was so cute and whimsical. 
Um, it is marked Mold, M-O-L-D-E, made in Portugal on the back. So there is like a thing here where you can stick one of those things in to hang it, or you can just set it on one of those like um, plate stands type of thing. So 50 cents for this. I listed it up as a buy it now for $12.99. So it's not really worth um, much, but I kind of fell in love with it. So we'll see. Next item was a green moon and stars glass uh, pedestal. Uh, compote you could use it as a candy dish it's very pretty I love the look of it the color and everything like that um, so I especially think this would be really nice um, set out at Christmas time with some like um, Hershey's Kisses in the red and green colored foil um, so anyway I paid 50 cents for it and I put it up as a buy it now for $19.99 so again, if that doesn't sell, I could see me potentially using that myself. I got this here. This is a Winx Club Christmas stocking. So Winx Club is an older um, cartoon type of show. Um, I had purchased a couple Winx Club glass Christmas tree ornaments at a yard sale and I did sell one of them now these old the old dolls can sell for a lot of money because there are people out there who are Winx Club collectors so I did not see any Christmas stockings listed I didn't see any Winx Club Christmas stockings sold I didn't see anything on Terra Peak. like I could not find this anywhere so I figured anyone who might be a collector might really go for this. So I paid 50 cents for it. I put it up on auction with a starting price of $29.99. That's how much I would like to get for it. Um, obviously it would be awesome if it sold for more, but um, it's also going to, I need to kind of wait around for a Winx Club lover which might take a little while. <laughs> um, I got this. This was a good buy. This is a glass fruit knife. It came in its original box. It says, the areas of fruits will not stain this knife. It will always be clean, is what it says on here. So this is just a gorgeous knife. It's got some weight to it. It is glass, green, um, uranium glass. It does glow. There is some nicks on the blade itself, but otherwise it's really awesome. Never seen anything like it before and it glows so beautifully. So this is for fruit. You could use it for cake. Um, just really nice, really nice knife. I paid just 50 cents for this knife. I listed it for, I listed it on auction with a starting price of $49.99. And it already has multiple bids. In fact, I wanted to check my cha-ching. No, I sold something. Oh, and I got another bid. <laughs> so that's awesome. Um, okay, hold on. I wanted to see where this knife is at as far as bids go. The knife is currently <laughs> at $75 with 22 watchers. And it still has five days left. So that was an awesome score for 50 cents. I went with my gut on that and sometimes my gut is pretty good. Not all the time, sometimes. I got this really large <laughs> giraffe, this plush stuffed giraffe. This is from the Disney store. Where is your little foot thing? Yeah, it has a little thingy here that says it's from the Disney store. I paid $1.00. For this giraffe, I listed it up as a buy it now for $39.99. There are some people that have this listed as high as 70 some dollars. Um, so I don't know if it's a little more valuable or harder to find, that kind of thing. But I only paid a dollar, so I listed it at $39.99. Well, here's another item I've had for a while and just got around to listing. So this is a vintage wooden carved... Um, piece of art it's made with feathers kind of has like a 3d look and it depicts a cockfight 
Um, on the back, it says, bought in Matamores, Mexico, 1945. So it's definitely that old. Um, it's really cool, definitely unique. I picked this up at a yarn sale a while back. Um, I listed this as a buy it now for $39.99. I didn't see this exact one. I've seen some sell for a little more than that. And I've seen some listed a little cheaper than that. But I couldn't find the exact one that I have. So, we'll see. This next item actually belonged to my aunt. And I just got around to listing it. This is a vintage heartthrob board game. I loved this game when I was younger. This was a great sleepover party game to play with the girls. Um, I listed this as a buy it now for $40, $49.99. It is one that is desirable. And just for fun, just for fun, we're going to look at some of the boyfriend cards because, come on now, you know you want to see them. This is from the 80s. So this was the one, this guy here, was always the one that interested me when I was younger. Like I always wanted Corey because I thought he was so cute. Now this guy here, Trevor, I was ne- ugh, I never wanted to get him. Nope, 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 nope. That was totally not me. Here we have Luke. We're just gonna go through a couple of them. Tom. Chris. Derek, if any of these pop out at you that you would choose when you were a teenage girl, gotta let me know down in the comments. Jim, Peter, Kurt, and Neil. But there's like a ton of them. So super fun. I mean, a lot of great memories attached to that game and sleepovers and stuff. So got that listed and I got a three vintage um, t-shirts these were a dollar a piece two of them are Mardi Gras this one says Mardi Gras New Orleans French Quarter so a dollar for that I listed it for $25.99 buy it now this one is also another Mardi Gras one these are all size large so again, I listed that at $25.99, buy it now. And then this one is a pink one, and this one is a Kentucky Derby, size large. Again, buy it now, $25.99. So that is everything for this haul. Um, like I said, you will see things from that footage video in future yard sale hauls as I get them listed. Um, and probably more just random stuff mixed in as I get them listed. Uh, so I'm still just trying to find the time to get as much things listed as I possibly can with the amount of time in the day because time goes by so quickly. It's just insane. It's like one minute it's morning, the next minute I am laying down to go to sleep and it's like, where has the day gone? I just feel like I didn't get anything accomplished kind of thing. Uh, so that is everything. I hope you guys enjoyed this video you'll have to let me know what you thought down in the comments and i will see you next time